It just had to happen, didn't it? Of course, of course it did. What is happening, guys? We're Craig and Amy, and you are watching King It. And this week, we close the final chapter on our rescue mission. If you're new here, welcome to King It. We live by our mantra, rule your own world. And after driving our bus all the way to Morocco and having the best time, we were introduced to Morocco Animal Aid. They are a bunch of angels on earth who take care of so many animals and have hearts of gold. When we left Morocco, we wanted to do our bit to help. So we signed up to be flight volunteers to three dogs, Oscar, Mario and Milo. Welcome to Paris. And so for the past five days, we've been living with these three little terrors. First in Barcelona, where we were waiting for our vans to be shipped over from Morocco, and then in our bus custard. Our last mission of the trip was to escort these fellas onto the Eurotunnel and into the UK to meet Anne and Jesse from SN Dogs, who will find these boys the perfect home to move into and be loved forever. As always, things didn't run as smoothly for us, and it also wasn't supposed to end like this. Not now. Brilliant, Custard. Well done for doing this on the coldest day of the actual year. Wake up slowly. Still and softly. Let the moon tell still to break of day. It's been a hell of a drive. It looks easy on the vlog, but uh, the day before yes, or yesterday we drove for like four hours. The day before that we drove for about seven. But we're getting there. Okay, should we check you in, fellas? Are you ready to go to the United Kingdom? Do you have any weapons on you? Any drugs? Any guns? No? Okay, come on then. <laughs> Everybody say bon voyage! <laughs> I had no idea that the terminal was so big in Calais. Craig says there's a Primark here. I am so fuming we didn't get here earlier. Could have done with a bit of shopping. The lads still need coats. All right, guys, here we go. We're getting on the Euro Tunnel lift shuttle. We're going to take the babies to the UK to their forever homes. Everybody okay? Yeah. Are you excited? I'm going to be adopted, guys. It's home for the next 35 minutes. Look at the state of this place. You don't even want to know how it smells. We thought because of the bus was stinking after Morocco, but then these three came along and now it is honking. I'm just glad that we bought them their own blanket. I've been trying to be like a, a healthy dog mom give them carrots but they just kind of shredded them and left pieces everywhere so they're probably going to stick up our bums tonight Craig <laughs> get caught between our cheeks in the doing, night what are you doing tonight <laughs> popping a little carrot up your bum you love look at this little lovely doggy how can we let them go I just no. don't know how you know when you have a dog and then he ends up with like 17 nicknames yeah so he's Milo also known as ginger sausage <laughs> also known as squirrel also, um, known, also as known as criminal <laughs> and lightning bolt yeah he's, he is you say he's, just... he's everywhere <laughs> i beg your pardon he wants to be everywhere all at once he's the best though so they're what's, all amazing so what's the plan tomorrow uh, tomorrow we're gonna meet Anne, who's gonna take these boys in Anne or jesse yeah and they're gonna find them a home to live in forever to their dying days. Aww. So they've gone from the streets of Morocco all the way to the UK. To Barcelona, to France, 
all the way to England. You With guys. Cheeky stop in Paris. You've seen half the world, guys. You are travelled, my friends. Milo, do you have to? You're on the cooker. Come on. Oh, how are we going to walk these dogs? We'll have to wash their paws in the sink. Do you want to take them out and I'll prepare yeah. a warm sink? <laughs> okay, guys, keep me time. Tired, it's keeping all day, mate. Yeah, have time. All right, I'm ready for you. One at a time, one at a time. <sighs> Oh goodness, look at these legs. Okay. Oh lovely, this is for me, good boy. Oh boy, my nose paws. Oh, oh, straight on your jacket, Craig. Straight on your new jumper. Get in! <laughs> I got you, I got you. That's okay. I got you, babes. Right, let me put you above the fire. Is that better? Nice and warm back here. Good boy. In you go. That's it. Good boy. It's lovely and warm. Get your toes in there. Ha! Stop. Stop moving. Stop moving. Next one in. Good boy. That's, that's all right. I got you. That is what I meant. meant. Get it down. She Oscar. loves to do these things. We're in my clothes as well. All right, two. We're going to have the zoomies now. Can you just follow me? down. Is there someone under there? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I know what's going on. I'm not involved. Come on, Mario. Good boy. Come on, buddy. Good boy. Yes. Good boy. Stay there. Good boy. He, he sat down in the mud as well, so his bum is muddy. All oh, right, okay. Of course you sat down. You're the laziest boy I know. What's she doing to you, mate? All right, all right. Just tell her, you were fine under the bed, chilling. Oh, she's wrecked the day. We're going to have to wash the floor as well. Are you okay, sir? Get off my chair with your wet paws. Shut up, Craig. Tell her about your screens, love. You I love filming. She's like, film me putting the screen up. I love it. <laughs> I want to say we're getting prepared for a very exciting night because it's our last night. I think we're going to do something lovely together. We're going to have a cinema night. Oh, we've got a bit of a party food dinner tonight. My favourite chickpea mash. Some chicken nuggets and some little weird things. Leftover curry. Some Tommy K for the nuggets. It's in my hand. It's in my hand. It's in my hand, Craig. I didn't want him to get it on the good, the good blanket. Amy just took one for the team and caught the poo <laughs> straight out of Milo's bum. Don't know why he thought he could just oh. poo on the bed. Literally, if you bend over to do anything, there will be a dog on your back. <laughs> I was the cinema screen. I was tying my shoelaces earlier, and somebody was on my back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, lads, 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 lads. What are we gonna watch? Homeward Bound. Is that a good film? I don't know if it'd be honest, a proper retro one that is. I was going to say all dogs go to heaven, but then I thought, oh, we best not make oh, this sad. It's a bit too soon for that. They're, it's only, too they're much. only young. Yeah, yeah. Let me in. Stop licking your balls, will you? You, oh. you kiss your mother with that mouth. Oh, you guys, you're the bestest boys. I don't even know how we're going to leave you tomorrow. <gasps> I've forgotten something. Remember, we bought this. It's a gun, and we never ended up using it. See if we can use it now. What kind ah, of? <laughs> I just sent myself in the face. <laughs> what kind of gun is it? It's a treat gun. <laughs> oh, hang on a minute. Ready? Right, enough of that. What film are we watching, lads? All right, we're going for snow dogs. They're eating the house. <laughs> it's just a cinema screen! It's just a cinema screen! Get down! Get down! <laughs> <laughs> 
Monica. No fighting, please. No fighting before breakfast. Oh, big stretch. We woke up and had one last cuddle with our boys. We knew we wouldn't get this again, so we really appreciated it this last time. Hello. Hello, Craig. It's Anne. Hi Anne, how are you doing? We then had a phone call from Anne from SN Dogs, who we'd be meeting shortly. As soon as we heard her voice, we knew that she was going to look after our boys. Not just because she had a lovely Welsh accent, but because she was really funny and we instantly warmed to her. I think you're giving the dogs to a nutter. <laughs> <laughs> okay then, looking forward to it. Wicked, alright Anne, we'll see you soon. See you soon, bye. Take care, bye. Oh. They've all got homes. <laughs> You've all got adopted parents and homes. You want to stay with me? Is that what you said? You said we want to stay with me? Okay, let's do that then. Oh, we just spoke to Anne on the phone, bless her. She's the lady that we're going to drop them to. And then they're going to go to their foster mum for a minute, who's called Jessie. And then, yeah, they said that, you know, as soon as they know that dogs are coming from Morocco, they'll put them up on the website, let people know that they're available. And they said they had to close the application process because they just had so many applications to have them. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm really happy for them. I am. You okay, babes? Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. You're gonna have great lives. I think I'm just happy. I'm happy that somebody wants them, you know? Yeah, of course. Oh, I just would love to keep them. You're the best boys. <laughs> they really are. I didn't know how I'd be today. But we've grown really attached, haven't we? Yeah. Oh, they're the best. But yeah, they're going to have great homes, and that's sort of what I need to remember. Well done, babes. You're a little champion. Oh, goodness me. I know it's going to be tough for you because you I didn't know them. I'd cry today, yeah. I really didn't. <sighs> Happy tears though, yeah? Yeah, a bit of both. I really miss them. Been a hell of a journey, hasn't it? It really has, yeah. Just so, so glad for them. They can have such good lives and they really deserve it all. They deserve the world. Okay, this is our final drive with the boys before we meet Anne and Jesse. Bit of sweet in the babes. Yeah. <laughs> They've been great. It's been such a great trip, and I'm so glad that I made it because it was just going to be you in the first place, wasn't you? Wasn't it? I don't know how I would have done this on my own, to yeah. be honest. <laughs> I will be really sad to see them go. But. But there's a but. There's a, a plan in all of this, and that was to get the dogs from a life that they shouldn't really be living in a shelter all the way to the UK to a really loving home and I think these boys are just gonna have the best time ever. Oh, I think so. yeah. Let's go meet Anne lads. We cannot thank Morocco Animal Aid enough. Thank you for giving them the vaccinations and making them healthy again. Thank you for de-ticking them and deworming them. Thank you for getting them out of potential danger and thank you for giving these dogs another chance at life. They told us that they love you, and you have to be so proud to know that they will be going into the safety of someone's house who's just gonna love them unconditionally and cherish them, just like they deserve. And that's all because of you guys. I'll miss teaching you to speak English, and I'll miss how you eventually sat at the bus door just to let us know that you needed a little pee. I kind of won't miss sitting uncomfortably because I didn't want to wake you up, or getting a tiny ball sack to the face every morning. I will miss how you felt like a little hot water bottle on my belly under the duvet in the mornings. And I'll always remember you because one of my shoelaces is shorter than the other. Okay, we've made it to the garden center where we're supposed to be meeting Anne. Um, I've no idea what she looks like, but I'm sure she's got the face of an angel. for words I don't know what to say okay guys one last walk around the block before we meet Anne how are you doing babes okay let's not talk about it okay
Martin shining for you lads. Bit of Morocco, how's that? Boy, she's here, she's here. Try not to. No. You have to remember that you're just like the cog in the works of making their lives better. And That's without it. you, it wouldn't all come together. I, it's a journey, it's a story with you. And I mean, definitely. You're the first people that they've known since they've left Morocco. So yeah. you've been their security. Mm. Yeah. And now, and they've got each other. Um, separate to them won't be a bad thing. When we met Jesse and Anne, we didn't know much about SN Dogs. But SN Dogs actually stands for Saving Needy Dogs. We found out that they care for and find loving homes for dogs in need and work closely with our friends Morocco Animal Aid. We also found out that Anne was due to retire, but after a holiday in Morocco, she saw how many dogs needed help. And so she continues to work and pays out of her own pocket every month to rescue as many dogs as she can. What a legend. SN Dogs rely on donations to help rehome dogs. We'll leave the link in the description because these guys are also a bunch of angels. It was really difficult letting them go, but we knew that they'd be in good hands. Lovely, he's gonna love you, he's gonna Okay, my love. <laughs> okay, boys, how you doing? You okay? Come here, Milo. Milo. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> okay, we'll see you later. Good boy. Good boy. You'll get the best home going, I promise you. I trust Anne. I trust her to the moon and back. Okay, see you guys later. Love you loads. It's a bit bittersweet, that, isn't it? Ah. You're going to have a good life. I don't know. I know. I'm not sure why this wasn't supposed to happen. I wasn't supposed to get so emotional or attached to them at all, but they're just the best, aren't they? Yeah. I think it is. It's just like the whole story, and you know, we've seen them in the shelters and the life they lead there. And just knowing that they're coming back and getting great homes, they're so lucky. And yeah. we just want to thank Lucy, Katerina, Fanny, everybody at Morocco Animal Aid, Jesse, Anne, for everything they do. Every step of the way, they've got angels placed yeah. to get these dogs into the best homes ever. Amazing. It's just amazing to hear their stories. Like Anne just literally paying out of her own pocket for the dogs. It's amazing. She's lovely, isn't she? Oh, man, I'll miss them. <sighs> Mission complete, babes. Mission complete, well, I know. I wish we could keep one, I really do. I wish we could keep them all, but obviously we travel so much and Custard the Bus is going back into storage now, so our plans for this year are probably going to be to fly a lot of places and it just wouldn't be fair to take the dogs and just not be home with them all the time. That's why we could never have one, but... Yeah. Yeah. Back to Barry then as a babes. Come on. And as if Anne doesn't pay enough out of her own pocket to help these dogs, she got us presents, bless her, for bringing them over. It's just oh, such a great community. I would love to hear your stories if you've rescued a dog. If you can comment below, give me a little paragraph about where you got them from, what their names are and their backstories, because I love to hear just heartwarming stories like that. It makes me feel so nice. <laughs> I was going to fake cry, but... <laughs> Oh babes. Yeah. Alright. You forgot to take the poo box. <laughs> <laughs> God. Oh not now. Literally on we're on the last leg of our journey. She's been fantastic this whole time. I think we've run out of fuel. You actually think we've run out of petrol? Diesel? 
Oh, Craig. If we were going to walk to a petrol station, how long would it take? It's two miles already. Two miles? Well, we've got to bike Jones. It just had to happen, didn't it? Of course. Of course it did. We have to get bike Jones out rescue mission and hope that it is diesel and not something worse and not the edc whatever that is here he goes that's it get it on love <laughs> pop your little triangle down love after making a plan to take bike jones to the petrol station for some diesel a knight in shining armor arrived meet josh I'm Josh, yeah. Josh, nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I was the one to get on the bike and go to the petrol station. Oh, I've just <laughs> jumped in. Yeah, we've got yes. Brilliant. Oh, All right, here we go. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh, my life. <laughs> oh, look at this, mate. Class. This is little Ronnie. Hold on. What a beauty. There we go. The Did you do this yourself? Yeah, yeah. Class, mate. Yeah. Good job. So, we took your inspiration about the surface. Oh, yeah. nice. We found the petrol station. Hopefully they got jerry cans. I don't have jerry cans. They don't have any. No cans. <laughs> oh, we got a Texaco one mile away. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Don't be loud. Come on, Texaco. Let's go. Sold out. This could be a long night, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Take three. Do you sell uh, diesel jerry cans? <laughs> We're on, mate. Nice. We're on. This isn't the first time this has happened. Yeah. Got the diesel, and we got a new subscriber. <laughs> <laughs> yes, mate. You're on. Sorted. Josh has got a shop in Bristol, in Bath, in Bath. At GG, Badger Gifts. <laughs> there you go. We'll yeah. leave the Instagram here. <laughs> go and check him out. <laughs> All right. Um, pretty sure. The rule is you can't stay inside the vehicle because it's too dangerous, so... Oh, there she is. Lead Captain B. Oh, there she is. Good girl <laughs> behind the crash barrier, doing it legit. <laughs> <laughs> Dinner. Yeah, go, go back yeah. to oh, no. you really, so really much for meet you guys. Yeah, absolutely. You're a okay. legend. Hopefully that'll help. Yeah, yeah. thanks for it. Thank you. Oh, what a guy. What a All right, come on, Craig. Come on, Custard. I love that. Just made a new friend now. Yeah. Hopefully that is the problem though, because if it's not, I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh my God, please. Come on, come on, come on. It takes a while to sort of let it go through the veins. Maybe. Josh, mate. <laughs> uh. Oh, Kirsten. Back. She go. Yeah! Yes! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Josh, you're a bloody legend, mate. Thank you. <laughs>